Welcome back to Most Buffalo. You know, Two on Your Side has teamed up with Kids Escaping Drugs to help fight addiction in western New York. Right now, we got a live look at the Kids Escaping Drugs Renaissance Campus where they're taking your calls to make donations to join the fight. And you can donate right now by calling 716-822-2220. Two on Your Side's Kelly Dudzik shows us how art therapy is helping young people at KUD's Renaissance Campus. Kate, art therapy helps with coping, communication, and self-expression. A lot of things that the patients have gone through, um, especially trauma, there's not necessarily words for or words are not enough. So uh, art helps us uh, be able to access um, you know, some of that information and helps the patients be able to express what words can't do. Lynette Guerin is the art therapist at KD's Renaissance Campus. She says just like in all our lives, a lot of things have changed because of COVID-19 for her young patients. I think there's a lot more anxiety. I think they feel isolated and cut off uh, you know, from, from, from people that might be able to support them. And that's where Lynette comes in. She's able to meet with the patients one on one and safely in groups to cope, relax and connect with their peers. I've had somebody just recently, one of the patients say this, that it was great to be in our therapy group um, with some of the other patients because then they could see that they were going through the same stuff and having some same feelings. So that could, um, so as they're expressing their feelings about what they're dealing with, they can see that other people are dealing with the same thing and they're not they're not alone and it's okay to start talking about these kinds of things. Their art projects use all kinds of materials to help them stay engaged in their treatment process. We, we do all kinds of things. We, we build with cardboard, so we've built things like uh, illustrations of their recovery in some kind of structure or building. We've done things like patchwork, uh, heart pillows to kind of talk about how, um, how we might uh, heal and how we come together and how that is a process of each stitches as we heal. Coming up first at five, you'll learn about the face to face program and how it's helping students with substance abuse prevention, even though a lot of them are doing remote learning. For more information on any of these programs, just go to my story on our website and on our app. In downtown Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.